Hello again. Right, we've got our AVI now of our long exposure webcam deep space object. And um, what we're going to want to do next is to process it. Now, if we try the usual way that we've been used to, which is with Registax, it doesn't produce fantastic results. And um, this is a way that I've found that produces much, much better results. And to be honest, I think it's a lot simpler, um, much easier to understand what's going on. So, first of all, you're going to want to download a piece of software called Virtual Dub. And it's free software. Uh, just Google Virtual Dub and you'll find it available for download all over the place. And once you've downloaded it, just install it and launch it. And you'll, you'll get basically this, this blank screen. So what we're going to do now is if we move up to File and click on Open Video File and just browse to wherever it is that your, your AVI is. So open that like so. And you'll see now that you just got one of you, it's just showing one of the frames from your AVI. Because what we want to do, we want to split this AVI up into separate frames, and each frame is going to be a, 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 just an image file on its own. So, like I said, really easy. But all we do now is we go up to File and move down to Export and go to Image Sequence. And when we click on that, we get another small window opens with a choice of output format and basically where we want to save it to. So, for output format, we're going to choose Windows Bitmap because they're not compressed. Uh, we're not, we don't want to lose any of that data that we've, we've got on our images. So, that's the first part. Next, just choose wherever it is that you want to save it. Just browse to a folder where you want to save your image files. And then click OK. And that's it. It's finished. It's done it. Uh, and now, if we open up the folder that I chose to save my images to, you can see them all there. These are all the bitmaps. And each one of those is a frame from the AVI, which I kept in this folder here. So next we're going to process those images into, well, what we hope is going to be a decent sort of picture of, of what it is that we've, we've videoed. And that's going to be in the next part, so we'll see you in a moment. 